Ewell tips the rebound to Ellingson. Carson Edwards got going a little too fast that time. Here's Cook missing the dunk. Went off the front of the rim. It went straight up in the air and came down through. So I didn't know what we'd get out of him at all. The fact that he got 12 points, the fact that he played with great energy level, uh, and just, just got back in there to get to bang around a little bit and figure it out. He's real close, and uh, so we're excited about him. I felt a little rushed, too, um, coming back. I missed the last month of basketball, so, um, you know, especially coming against, you know, coming back against this, this team to help the team to come back against. So um, I felt like I was, you know, trying to do too much at first, and then finally the second half I felt a little bit more comfortable, although I still picked up another foul. Um, you know, I was kind of, you know, got my groove a little bit better, but obviously it was a little too late to make a, you know, big enough impact at that point. He steals the outlet pass, though. Tyler Cook to Bohannon to Jock. He'll try from the same spot. It's good. Peter Jock's defense leads to Peter Jock's three. It's hard to simulate an environment like Purdue if you've never played in it. And we knew this was going to be a tough environment, probably one of the toughest environments we're going to play in all season. And there's really no way to simulate that in practice or anything like that. So um, a good learning experience for us. But at the end of the day, you know, we're going to have to be able to play well on the road. And we're going to have to be able to play better than we did tonight. Michigan, a really good team, a talented veteran club with a lot of speed, a lot of quickness. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Uh, just need all the Hawk fans to come out and support this young team because we need you on Sunday.